Brothers. Brothers. Thank you. You ready? Yeah, inshallah. <sighs> okay. Um, I think uh, Carlton misunderstood what I said. I don't think I once said none of the prophecies in the Old Testament are true. I didn't say that. I didn't say dreams are not true. I didn't say that either. What I did say to you is how does a dream supersede a walking, talking Jesus with witnesses and chosen and miracles and parables and such. And he never makes this claim. And yet a dream later on, apparently you find the claim there. So my question wasn't the fact that, oh, dreams don't prophesize the future. I have no issue with that. That's not even the topic of debate here. The topic of debate is, is Jesus God? And you're saying a dream through all of this hocus pocus is actually, yeah, this is, this is the son of man. This is, this is God. Where I showed you, I stripped it away for you. I showed you where to look. I, I, it was like an arrow pointing to it. It's the Gospels. This is where Jesus should make such a claim. This is how people should know who he is. When I speak to Christians, they say, oh, yeah, in John, he says this. He says, I am the father of one. And before Abraham was, I am. I hear all of these wonderful statements that they come out with. You've not even touched them. You've gone to a dream. So this is what I didn't understand about this. I wasn't challenging the idea of prophets having dreams. And understand one thing. John of Patmos wasn't a prophet. So his dreams don't count as prophecy, I don't believe. Anywho. Uh, you said um, Christians all believe that God is three. No, they don't. There are many Christians. I mean, you act like from the time Jesus left this earth, everybody was in agreement that Jesus was part of a trinity and the Holy Spirit was part of a trinity and they were all co-equal making up God. This is not true. This is like 300, 400 years later for this doctrine to be created of the Holy Spirit to be actually become co-equal also. There were Christians burning at the stake for refusing to accept this idea. Even in the 16th, 17th century, a, a guy, Michael Servetus, was burned at the stake for writing a book against the divinity of Jesus. So it's no wonder today Christians are in the minority with regards to this because they were burned for believing otherwise. And why did the church burn this guy? They burnt him with his book tied to his belt. And this is what they said at his trial. This is a warning to anybody who comes along trying to make such a claim. So th this idea that God was always three and it's unky dory and everyone believed in this trinity is false. So please don't try and present that. Um, now you say John Mark is Peter. Where'd you get that from? No, no, no. John Mark consulted Peter. Consulted Peter. So what we're saying now is he's trying to imply that Mark wasn't an eyewitness, but what he wrote was from what Peter told him. Now the problem he has with that, the most important part of Christianity is the resurrection. Without a resurrection, there is no Christianity according to Paul, who he does like. Now, we look in the Gospel of Mark, in the original, oldest, reliable manuscripts, and there is no resurrection experience according to the Gospel of Mark. Now, I thought this Mark is supposed to be Peter. Now, according to the Gospel of John, John and Peter raced to the tomb, and then they had such wonderful experience with Jesus appearing to them and telling them this and telling them that. And yet, in Mark, now remember something. When Jesus passed or left this earth, yeah, for 40 years, there was no gospel. There was no story. So imagine for 40 years, no one was believing in a, this birth. No one was believing in this resurrection. There was, no, there was nothing. And then Mark writes his gospel. No virgin birth, no resurrection. For 10 years, we wait for Matthew to write his gospel. Now, if you want to talk about Matthew and the qualities he has, well, we know he creates earthquakes where nobody else records it. So you can say Matthew does the full account. Well, no one else records an earthquake. No one in secular history records an earthquake. No one else records the dead rising from the graves and entering all the towns. We know Mark, Matthew embellishes. It's clear. One minute left. Okay. So that's Matthew um, under the bus. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to my uh, a point where you, could, you just clearly missed because you went to the very first verse of the Bible. It says that God was working with something. Can I remind you? This is Isaiah. I am the Lord. There is no other apart from me. There is no God. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me. In Isaiah, you are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, no God was formed, nor there will be no one after me. I, even I, am the Lord. Without me, there is no saviour. It's explicit and you ignore it for trying to make this and that mean that and this. Don't understand it, mate. 
<coughs> I mentioned that um, I never do the same presentation twice. <coughs> it's as if you didn't understand the approach I took. I said clearly that Christ existed before, that he was a, a human on earth, and you refuse to accept that the explanations of him being a human on earth uh, are simply that. Just because you don't believe that um, after his resurrection, that the account in the book of Revelation revealing Jesus Christ uh, is accurate, uh, you've missed the point. Because it's after his resurrection, the question is, is, not was, you've addressed the was why he was on earth. I'm not talking about 2,000 years ago. So my statement was, it depends when you ask the question. You don't seem to have interacted with that. So, is he, according to the book of Revelation, he is. Now let's talk about some prophecies. In the book of Revelation, since John is not a prophet, uh, it talks about there being worldwide religion, a beast that forces worship, that no one will be able to buy or sell. You see all the things that are happening to Islam now? It's because there is a system that the book of Revelation describes that will have one world religion. You guys get in the way of that. And so that one world religion, the religion they want isn't Islam. And so they will make Islam look bad. They will kill Muslims and make it look like, oh, we're actually doing something good to save everyone else. These things are all prophesied in the Bible. You need to read the Bible to understand what's happening to Islam around the world. You think we're surprised. When I first came to the, uh, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, they were saying this in 1981. I now see them coming true. John's not a prophet. You just need to understand the prophecies. Thank you. Right, now, how long was it after Muhammad's death that the Quran was compiled? Oh, okay, I, th I thought it was 12, 12, 15 years. His question was, there were no Gospels after Christ ascended to heaven. Yeah, yeah. It was compiled straight away by the second, second caliph, Abu Bakr. Was yeah, you said, you, the, the question, like this, uh, sorry, the uh, can you stop the clock, please? Um, are, you, are you interacting now because you're going down the wrong road yeah, there because yeah, the, 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 the Quran mm. was revealed from the angel Gabriel mm. to the messenger Muhammad sallam, through memory. It was yeah, preserved yeah. through memory, never just once. Yes. On, when you're talking about... Brother, 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 relax. Yeah, 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 just finish your afternoon. We've got a month. Okay. Yeah, 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 My point is, no Gospels were written for 40 years. He said, nobody believed it. Does it matter when the Quran is written and made available pe to people, uh, when people start to believe? Did they not believe it while he was alive and during its uh, distribution throughout um, uh, Arabia? Of course they did. So, you know, what kind of logic are you using that no one believed it because nothing was written? I, I really don't understand um, <clears throat> the, the approach you're taking. The question, is Jesus God? Clearly he disagrees. It would be better if his disagreement was with the point I made. While on earth, even though this is heretical for many Christians, while on earth, the Bible makes it clear that he was not God. He was man. He was made in all points like unto us, other human beings. And so because all of the, the teachers are attacking um, Christians who want to defend that Christ was God, even when he was on earth and died, uh, and he's God afterwards. It, it, it's, it's a difficult argument to win, when the reality is he became a human being to die, uh, to save us from our sins, so that we might have an opportunity for eternal life. It's important that we try to understand that. Um, so let me just find the, the verse that I was trying to find earlier, I was looking at, but didn't realise it was it. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18. Um, it says, and then I will sit down. <clears throat> the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. 